Hello, I'm Tumisane. Through this series on exponents, we have discovered and used exponential laws to simplify expressions. We have looked at some interesting uses of exponents as well. In this lesson, we will simplify some more challenging expressions using all our knowledge of exponents. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to simplify exponents by using all the laws of exponents, using prime factors, Let me start by reminding you about prime numbers. They are numbers that can be written as a product of only two different factors, one and the number itself. That is why one is not a prime number, because one will be equal to one times one. So it's got only one factor. Can you select all the prime numbers between one and 30? That means numbers which do not have factors other than themselves and 1. Here they are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23 and 29. Let us revise some prime factorizing. Let's find the prime factors of the following and then write the factors as powers. 16 to the power n. 16 can be written as 2 times 2, times 2, times 2, 4 times, all to the power of n. And this can be written as 2 to the power of 4n. Just to remember the factor 3. Let's prime factorize the number 162 using the factor 3. 162, find the prime factors. Of 162, the first one will be the number 2. Now, 2 goes how many times into 162? We find that it goes 81 times. Now, what will be the factor of 81? The prime factor of 81 will be the number 3. 3 goes how many times into 81? It goes 27 times. What will be the factor of 27? Again, it will be the number 3. 3 goes into 27 9 times. Factors of 9 will be again 3. 3 into 9 goes again 3 times. Now, what will be the factor of 162? It will be 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 four times. Therefore, that means we can write 162 to the power of n as 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 four times all to the power of n, which will give us 2 times 3 to the power of 4, all to the power of n, which is equals to 2 to the power n multiplied by 3 to the power of 4n. Now, let's write 25 to the power n plus 1 as a power with a prime base. Prime factorize 25 and write the power in brackets. So this will be written as 25 is the same as 5 to the power 2 to be all to the power of n plus 1, which will be equals to, we can use what we call our distributive law, 2 times n and 2 times 1. So our answer will be 5 to the power of 2 n 2 times 1 plus 2. 
Now let's try one that's a bit trickier. Write this expression as a power of 3. 9 to the power of x times 27 to the power of x plus 1. We know that 9 is equal to 3 to the power of 2 and 27 is 3 to the power of 3. So let's put these powers in brackets. That means here we'll have 3 to the power of 2 all to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of 3 all to the power of x plus 1. Multiply that out, we'll have 3 to the power of 2x times 3 to the power of 3 times x, which is 3x, and 3 times 1, which is plus 3. Again, we apply our first law. Bases are the same. We simply add the exponents. That will be equal to 2x plus 3x plus 3. We can add these two together because they are like terms. So our answer will be 3 to the power 5x plus 3. Good. Can you write exponential expressions with prime bases? The big idea here is to recognize the base as a power of prime numbers. With this knowledge, you should be able to simplify fractions that contain exponential expressions. Simplify 9 to the power of x multiplied by 27 to the power of x plus 1, all divided by 3 to the power of 5x. We have just seen that the numerator is equal to 3 to the power of 5x plus 3. So let's just substitute for 9x times 27 to the power of x plus 1 by 3 to the power of 5x plus 3, all divided by 3 to the power of 5x. Apply our second law. If we are dividing, bases are the same. That means we can simply subtract the exponents. It means in this case we'll have 3 to the power of 5x plus 3 take away 5x. That will give us the 5x take away 5x will give us 0. 0 plus 3 gives us 3. That means the answer will be 3 to the power of 3, which is equal to 27. Are you ready to simplify this example? 8 to the power n plus 1 divided by 4 to the power n multiplied by 2 to the power n plus 1. Are the bases the same? We have the bases 8, 4, and 2. But they are all powers of 2. If we write each base as a power of 2, we'll be able to use the exponential laws to simplify the expression. Now let's look at 8 to the power n plus 1. This can be written as 2 to the power of 3 all to the power of n plus 1 divided by 2 to the power 2 all to the power of n multiplied by 2 to the power of n plus 1. Let's remove the brackets there. That will give us 2 to the power of 3 n plus 3 divided by 2 to the power of 2n times 2 to the power of n plus 1. In this case, the bases are the same. Let's apply our first law. It says if the bases are the same, we can simply add the exponents. That means we'll end up with 2 to the power of 3n plus 3 divided by 2 to the power of 3n plus 1. And lastly, we must divide. The bases are the same, so we can subtract the exponents. We have a base of 2 and 2. Apply our second law. That will be 2 to the power of 3n plus 3. What do we take away? We take away 3n and we're taking away 1. That will give us 2 to the power of 3n minus 3n, that gives us 0, 
3 take away 1 gives us 2. That means we'll be left with 2 to the power of 2, which is equals to 4. We have managed three examples of simplifying expressions in this lesson. Now it is your turn. Your task today is to simplify 4 to the power 2y times 8 to the power y plus 1 divided by 2 to the power of 3y. And write down what you did in each step. Join me in the next lesson where we'll try to simplify some more expressions involving exponents. Until then, cheers.